Hello fellow viewers and welcome to part two of the retopologizing of Mr. Clayface here. Today we're gonna work on the head. Now the head is one of the most important parts of the retopologizing because it holds all the details. We want to have give him a lot of control over every piece of his jaw, his eyes, and in order to show emotion and having him talk. But in the end, we're, we need to attach it to the body. So let's see how we're going to do that. So first off, we're going to go to the simple create and um, tag make faces so it'll make a, our jobs a lot easier. So most of the time I start in the eyes in the region starting to create the geometry because it has the most common loop, the most easiest um, loop. You can see it here. So as you can see as I started it attached to this point. That's because I'm holding make faces. So let's undo and cancel make faces and create a dot here hold make faces and as you can see it does it again so for, for the first polygons let's cancel make faces and simply do it by hand Okay. So I did my first polygon, my first head polygon. Now, symmetry is an important part of uh, topology. So I'm going to need this edge to be at exactly 0 uh, on the x. Uh, so I'm going to select this edge and press 0 symmetry here. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select make, make Faces again, hold this uh, point with control and start dragging out this geometry. Space this out, make it a bit more round. Now, it's important not to get carried away with um, your geometry and but still trying to retain your um, contour contour so here I'm gonna try and decide how the geometry is gonna play okay now as you can see here I've got this little bump so I think I'm gonna need more uh, edge loops here so let's pull this out round this fella out okay looks about right let's take this now let's go around and close these uh, points using control holding it and selecting from one dot to another and this seems a bit uneven so I'll hit select them with shift and hit zero symmetry let's create another loop here now 
let's take this loop I want to select it and extrude it um, to the direction of the eye so I can do it by pressing this button here called loop now I can hit the extrude tool and extrude it in I can do it again and you can see the, the points that are getting a bit jumbled but it doesn't matter I'm gonna move them anyway I think I'm going to need another slice here. Let's move all these points. Okay. In an eye, you're going to want to create an overlapping effect, meaning the top half of the eye is overlapping the bottom half so I'm going to take these points and make them go over these points not too much not making them really overlap only creating the effect that it looks like it's overlapping but remember this is a game model so you don't need to really go into these details just make it look like so this looks okay to me I won't close this hole for now because I don't really know what I'm gonna put here now the next part I'm gonna work on the ring of the mouth so that's easy I can take this point and start dragging, dragging, and creating a loop here remember not too many polygons but still giving me enough freedom to uh, rig it later so it'll look good now the overlapping part here I can take these edges holding shift and use the extrude to pull them out Now that I got this mouth shape, I can close it up because, as you can see, my mouth is kind of closed. Take the points and connect them. I'm trying to keep it all squares to make it more clean. So, let's see, I need more 
geometry here. I'm moving around from uh, create to select by holding the tapping the right uh, mouse key moving the geometry here trying to get more contour into my basic geometry so let's take this Remember, the closer the points are, the sharper the geometry is going to be. Now, as you can see, this is not in uh, good symmetry, not in, in 0x. So I'm going to select uh, this edge and this edge, and I'm going to hit Path this will select a path from this edge to this edge then I can press zero sim and it zeroes it out another thing I'm gonna do is slice it up in the middle that will give me more control later on again overlapping Okay, you could always check to see if um, the model it looks okay when it's subdivided by pressing sub D here. It shows a preview of how it looks subdivided. This looks pretty good. The body still has some issues because of how the, the model is created. It doesn't have enough geometry here, but we'll work on it later on. So this has been part one of working on topology on the head. Uh, later on we'll keep, keep working on the head and attach it to the body. And we'll work on from there. So don't forget to subscribe and like. It really gives me the push to keep creating these uh, videos. and. To be continued.